I think one of the things that's been clear this morning is how near the communities are to one another physically and yet how far apart they are from one another. And what you see with the settlements is people, Palestinians, very close to Israeli settlements and yet there is no understanding between the two communities. With what is behind me, what is proposed, under a two-state solution, Palestine will be divided into two, north and south, and E1, as it's known at the present moment, would be a barrier between them, because the people of E1 would be part of the Israeli state. It's important that the international community speaks out on behalf of the Palestinians, so that the settlement is not built, otherwise you're going to get two, two divided societies, even more divided and more, even more fearful and lacking in trust with one another. E1 is the area that, connect, that comes between Malay Edomim and Jerusalem. The Israeli idea is, the Israeli government's idea is to build there a new settlement, although they are not calling it a new settlement, they are calling it Malay Edomim, they are calling it an expansion of Malay Edomim, and then have a land contiguity from the settlement, Malay Edomim, to, uh, to Jerusalem and guaranteeing, guaranteeing that Malay Edomim, even if maybe there's a two-state solution, Malay Edomim will stay in uh, Israeli uh, sovereignty. Kremazan Valley Wall is, is, is a tragedy because again it's dividing two communities more and more. But what's particularly even more important is dividing the Palestinian communities for, from their homes to, to their lands. So their lands are actually being taken away from them. They're going to find difficulty in getting through the exits into their lands and if they leave them alone for three years the lands are automatically confiscated from them. So it's a human tragedy people's livelihood that's been there literally for centuries has been stolen from them without any real consideration under the excuse of security. I think walls, as Pope Francis reminded us, walls need to be broken down, not built up. A trust needs to be established between people, not, not a fear increased. I think I want people to do three things, to pray about the situation, to be aware of the situation, because I think at home in England we're often not so much aware of what's actually going on. If we are aware of the situation, I think we become more concerned. And part of the action, I think, as well as encouraging pilgrimages and for us to buy goods from the Holy Land, is to write to our members of Parliament and say to them, Palestinians are a people who are in need of justice. But peace is going to be beneficial not just to the Palestinians, but also to the Israelis as well because the people can't constantly live in fear. If they do, fear breeds violence. If we want to get rid of violence and really be secure, then we need a peaceful coexistence. And that's what I would ask of the people of the Catholic Church in England and Wales to pray for, to work for, and to write to their members of Parliament about.